there's been an update to the Simpro mobile service module functionality. It's been long awaited. It's finally here. It's barcodes in the field. So what we're going to have a look at today is using barcodes in Simpro to assist with allocating material items in the field. So barcodes themselves are not new in Simpro. The functionality to um, you know, integrate barcode scanning and stuff like that has been around for a little while. However, what is new is the ability to use the Simpro mobile app to easily scan products and pull them out of stock lists or catalog lists to easily allocate them to the job. This is going to be a game changer for your field technicians to quickly and easily be able to scan products and allocate items without having to you know, remember part numbers, remember search terms, search through really long lists. Uh, you might choose to actually put barcodes on shelves, on racking, on the products themselves, or you might even put together a little bit of a barcode booklet that they can easily access with some really common items that they're using all the time. So all of this and more, I'm going to show you how to do and how barcodes work in Simpro, especially with the new functionality available in Simpro Mobile. Okay, so let's jump into Simpro and have a look at some of this barcode functionality. So what I'm going to do is jump into my Simpro catalogue and I had a little bit of a look through my office to see if I could find some products that already had a barcode on them and I've entered these into Simpro. So some of the things that you might get from your suppliers might already have a barcode listed on the box or on the product itself and you might like to tie this barcode number in to be the one that you can scan and return the catalogue item as a result in Simpro. So to do that linking, what we do is we jump into the catalogue item and we enter the barcode number that you find on the product into the search terms box, which is here on the right hand side of my page in this gray. So anything that I put in the search terms box makes this item searchable by. So for instance, I've also done a bit of an example of put the word stationary in here. Now stationary is not in my name or my part number, which is what Simpro normally searches for. But because I've put it over here in the search terms box, now if I typed into my catalog stationary, it would actually return this result. And the barcode works in the same way. Because we have the barcode number now sitting as a search term, when I scan that barcode, it's going to recognize that number and return the result of this catalog item. So if you have existing barcode numbers, it's as simple as popping those barcode numbers into the search terms box inside your catalog item in Simpro. Now, you may have some products, which is quite common, that don't have any barcodes on them whatsoever. So in that case, you can actually use Simpro to generate a barcode for you to use. Uh, what you can do is go through and find the items that you'd like to do this for and add to a barcode list. And when you've collected all the items from all your different folders that you're after, uh, you can just click down here into this gray box down the bottom where it says print barcodes. And what that will do is it will have a look at the barcode form that you have set up in the back end of Simpro and it will generate barcodes for you. So what it does is essentially takes the part number that you have of that item in Simpro and it turns that part number into a readable barcode. So now when you scan this particular barcode, it's actually going to return the result of the part number and therefore that particular product is going to appear in your Simpro or Simpro mobile um, as the item that you're searching for. You can make a lot of changes to this particular form, like you might go to Officeworks and buy you know, the, the, the labels and all the little bits and pieces that you can get. You can mess around with margins and quantities and the sizing of these labels so that you can sort of set this form out exactly how you want to do and print out the barcodes. You might create a bit of a barcode booklet, which has like your top items that you're using and uh, therefore, you know, your technicians can actually just go and scan the booklet if it's not practical to put a barcode itself on, you know, shelving, racking or the product. So lots of different ideas there where you can actually use those barcodes in an effective way. And next we'll jump into the mobile app and see how we can use it over there. Okay, so let's have a look at what this looks like for our field technicians using the Simpro mobile app. This is going to make the ability for them to search um, for material items using the barcode nice and simple. They will no longer have to scroll through long lists. 
they won't have to remember particular part numbers or search terms for those part numbers. They're easily going to be able to scan a barcode that you have on an item or potentially even like a barcode booklet that you set up for them to easily allocate and locate those materials in both the stock and the catalog sections. So this is only available inside of the service module of the Simpro mobile app. So you do need to ensure that you're in the service module. And we're just gonna jump into this job and click start work. And we're gonna scroll down to the materials section. So as I mentioned before, this is available in both the stock and catalog sections in the materials section here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the stock. And you can see straight away in my search bar up the top, I've actually got that barcode icon on the right hand side. Now this will happen fairly quickly. So what I'm gonna do is click on that barcode icon and it's gonna bring up my camera on my phone. And then I'm simply gonna to navigate to the product and scan the barcode. So as soon as it picks up the barcode in the scanning window, it is then going to search for that barcode number and it's going to return the result for me. So you can see here, I've got some premium plain white envelopes. So simply, I would just put the quantity of envelopes that I'm adding to this job and click add, and that takes me back to that search bar. So again, from here, I could search for my next product. So if I click the little clear button in the search bar, clicking on that barcode again, it's gonna bring up my camera. This time I'm gonna try and locate this notebook that I've got set up. I'm just gonna scan that barcode there, and it's been matched to that product straight away, giving me the ability to easily add my quantities. Once I finish adding my materials, or perhaps if my barcode didn't work, I still have all of the old search functionality that was there. So I can type in part numbers, I can type in search terms, I can also look through my catalog or my stock list that I have in there to locate products. The barcode just simply makes it nice and simple. And again, this is available in the catalog section as well using exactly the same functionality. So here I'm going to click on my little barcode search box. And I'm just going to pick up this little tag that I've programmed into Simpro and I'm going to search that barcode. And it's pulled up that I've got a random tag here, which I can then allocate my quantities to. So that is the functionality and definitely worth setting up for anything that you possibly can inside of Simpro to make those field allocation of materials nice and simple.